Look, let me know if you find evidence of a hitman at Lover's Point. I think an attempt was made there on Sheridan's life tonight. No, she wasn't hurt. I got her home safe and sound. Sheridan's out of danger. For now. I swear, if anything happens to her, I will kill you. You are a 
a monster for doing this, Ivy. Great. You're going, all right? I'm gonna find a way to get this door open and get you out of there. I love you. No! in the cabin. The portal broke and the water's rising fast. She will die if we don't get her out of there now. The door is jammed. Look, let's go find something on Wendy. You bitch. You locked her in there, didn't you? I, I don't have to answer you. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, Ivy, when are you going to stop this obsession? When are you going to stop pursuing Sam? When I get him back. Anything happens to her. I'm gonna do to you what Tacy did to Julian, only worse. Grace, hang in there. Come on, Sam. Oh my God. Are you guys okay? We are now. It's so cold. We ain't okay. Come on, listen to the blanket. I'll get you a blanket, too. No, Ethan, please stay with me. You must have been so frightened. You know, we owe Teresa our lives. If she hadn't helped me pull you over the side, I don't even want to yeah, think well, what would Well, I will thank Teresa for saving my life, but not for stabbing me in the back, trying to steal you away from me. Ethan, I want to know what was going on with Teresa, and I want to know right now. When was asking what Ethan and I were doing when this... This wave washed her overboard, and Ethan was about to save her when another wave almost washed him overboard. So I held on to him, and well, he managed to save Gwen. Oh, I can't believe how brave you are. Oh, when I wasn't thinking about danger, I just knew I, I couldn't let go of the man I love. I overheard you telling Ethan that you were in love with him, Teresa. He didn't seem to respond the way that you hoped. He was surprised to me. That's all. Shocked is more like it, but I know that once he has a chance to think about it, well, tell me he feels the same way. What about Gwen, Teresa? Oh, I can't believe she showed up when she did. But maybe it's a good thing. I mean, now that Ethan knows how I feel, well, we'll have to choose between us, and I know he'll choose me, but it's fate. All right, get your hands up and don't move. Sheridan, get up and back away. Louise! Sheridan, don't argue, just do it! <sighs> what the hell are you doing here? I'm gonna see what the captain's done to try to get Ethan, out. no! I want to talk about Teresa now! I'm not gonna be put off any longer! Gwen, where's this jealousy coming from? You insisted I'd take Teresa to her prom. Ethan, I know, and I'm not questioning you. I'm questioning Teresa. But why, Gwen? I mean, what happened? 
Mother stopped by the mansion earlier and naturally she wanted to see you. So when I told her where you were and who you were with, she asked me if I had ever seen anything that would suggest Teresa would ever make a play for you. And Ethan, the fact is, is that I have. So I decided to come down here and see how Teresa would act when she thought I wasn't around. And Ethan, when I ran into you two, I got the distinct impression that I was interrupting something. Something really big. Now what was it? What is it, Teresa? What did you want to tell me? It's what's been in my heart for so long. And I've been waiting for the right moment, and I hope... No. I'm sure. This is it. I love you. Ethan, what is going on between you and Teresa? The, the storm's getting worse, Wade. Well, the storm is the least of your problems, Teresa. But for whatever reason, Gwen suspects something's up between you and her fiancé. I mean, she braved a storm in a rowboat to come check on you, Teresa. Look, stay away from me. Steer clear of Gwen, or you're gonna be fish food. Gwen doesn't scare me, Wit. <sighs> Fate will take care of her the same way it's helped bring Ethan and me together. Unless fate has a chair and a whip, you're in big trouble, Teresa. Big trouble. I haven't seen Miguel, have you? He heard Charity took a boat to shore, so he went to go find her. In this storm? Yikes. I better go tell the captain. Do you realize that this is all Charity's fault? If she had stayed on this boat, Miguel wouldn't have gone to go find her. He would be here and I would feel safe. We are to blame for Charity leaving this boat. She wouldn't be upset if you hadn't dumped a pile of fish guts on her head. Come on, all I was trying to do was get Charity away from Miguel so I could spend time with him. And as usual, your plan didn't work. Miguel isn't with you, he's with Charity. And if something happens to him, it's gonna be our fault. Charity's vision in Tabitha's mirror was right. We're gonna burn in hell for what we did tonight. Sorry then. Kill them all. Destroy them. Kill them all. You are powerless. Nothing you can do. Evil will prevail. Evil will prevail. The dark side. Charity is ours. I came here to see Sheridan and spend some time with her. Well, why didn't you just knock on the door? I did, but nobody answered, so I let myself in. I figured I'd just wait in here so we could be alone without you knowing about it and getting all worked up. Uh, damn it, Hank, I'm guarding Sheridan. You had no right to Thanks break in Thanks for proving here. my point. You understand, don't you, Sheridan? Yes, Hank, but you scared me half to death. Well, I knew it would startle you. That's why I put my hand over your mouth, so you wouldn't tip off Luis before I could explain. Even so. These flowers, are they all from you? Well, I wanted to do something special for you, you know? I know you've been through a lot lately, so... You know, Sheridan's lucky it was you waiting in here for her, and not the guy who was hired to kill her. Timmy! Timmy! He can't be gone! No, my Timmy can't be gone! Oh, oh, oh. He's such a sweet, good lad. So devoted. Oh. And that empty squint of his, and he makes such delicious martinis for his princess. Oh, oh, my evil ways have cost me back to me.
a new dog and this one will be mean and rotten. I won't let myself get attached to him like I did to my Jimmy. Jimmy was one of a kind. <gasps> but alas, alas, he is no more. <gasps> oh, I'm so grief stricken. I'm hearing, I'm hearing Jimmy's voice. <laughs> Is she in love with you? Ethan, come on, man. Storm's getting worse and everybody's starting to freak out. We gotta do something, right? Right. Look, Gwen, our lives are in danger. What we're discussing will have to wait. We'll get to the truth, with or without Ethan's hands. Gwen, uh, what are you doing here? Julian, what happened to you? Me? You're the one who's soaking wet. Well, how'd you get on board? You weren't around when we it set sail. Later. Hmm. To check on Ethan, no doubt. You worried about him being alone with the lovely Teresa. You know that yes? is really none of your business. Oh, but it is. Let's see. We crane men have insatiable appetites for money and power, but for pleasure. Now, Ethan is set to have a simple premarital fling. Well, the housekeeper's daughter, you really shouldn't get worked up over it. In fact, once you and Ethan marry. You're going to have to look the other way from time to time, but I'm sure, like me, he's man enough to satisfy all the women in his life. You're drunk. Oh, yes, but I still know the rules of our social set. You must wise up, Gwen. Just be a big girl. Oh, God, you are disgusting, Julian. Stay away from me. Oh, spoken like a true crane wife, as I've been coaching you. God, what kind of a father are you, Julian? Thank God. Ethan is nothing like you. Yeah, if you believe that, my dear, you wouldn't be here. Well, would you? <laughs> oh, Ethan's not with Gwen anymore. Well, maybe he's looking for me to, to tell me that he loves me. I've got to go find him, Wit. Look, I better go with you, Teresa. I hate to see what happens if Gwen finds you first. <laughs> Grace, try and hold on a minute longer. We're gonna get you out. DC, get him out of here. Water's coming in too far, right, ladies. Too dangerous. You too, Ivy. Come on! Oh my god. Thank god you're okay. I didn't think I'd ever get out of there. I couldn't lose you, Grace. You are my life, my world. And you always will be. And Cardin, I really hate to bother you right now, but we gotta close this portal. I'm coming. Eve! Eve, help me out. Help me get her up. Grace? Okay. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't been. It's okay, Eve. I'm okay, really. I, I, I just don't understand how the door got locked. Yes, neither can I. <sighs> we'll talk about what happened later. Right now we need to get upstairs. The storm's getting worse. We need to get help. Yeah, and I want to see how the girls are. Okay, and Jessica are fine. What about Charity? Well, I left her on the deck with Tabitha. And given the weather, I'm sure Tabitha brought her inside. I hope so. I mean, Charity was so traumatized after those fish guts were dumped on her. I hope nothing else terrible happened to her. Now, come on. We need to get upstairs. Come on. Gotta get you a blanket. We need to get her warm. Destroy them. Destroy them all. Destroy them. Destroy them all. 
destroy them. Destroy them all. Sheridan and I, we, we were almost back to my car when I swear someone took a shot at her. You aren't sure? No. I think they used a silencer. Missed. I hit a tree branch and I fell right next to Sheridan. Anyway, we ran through the woods. We looped back to the car and gave whoever it was a slip. I got people up at Lover's Point right now checking for evidence. And then I show up here at Sheridan's and scare her to death. I can't tell you how sorry I am. It's all right, Hank. You didn't know. I just, I wish this nightmare was over. That's why I reacted the way I did when you grabbed me. I thought I was being attacked. Don't blame yourself. All that happened was my fault. Well, let's hope that's the station saying they have some evidence of the hitman at Lover's Point. Crane residence. Yeah. What would you find? Nothing? What, no footprints? No, no, no tire tracks? You sure you searched the entire area? Oh, well, thanks for checking. The police found no evidence that an attempt was made on my life tonight. That doesn't mean anything. Look, he's a cop and a spin doctor, too. Sheridan, this hitman is a professional. Now, he obviously covered his tracks, made sure that there was no evidence that he was there. Either that, or there was no hitman at all. Well, you're the one who screamed and went down. Because a tree branch fell on me. Exactly. Now, I told you that that tree branch was most likely seared off by a bullet. A bullet that was meant yeah, for you. I have heard enough, Luis. There was no hitman at Lover's Point tonight. Just your ego-driven paranoia. My ego? You're the one who thinks that she's invincible. Luis drags me through the woods like we're in the Blair Witch Project. I scratch my legs, ruin my dress, and lose my favorite pair of shoes. And all for what? Just so he can scare me into coming back home. Scare you? You didn't want me to go out tonight in the first place, so you pay me back by making me think my life is in danger. I can't believe you. You know, I go out of my way time and time again to save your life. Right. And the seascape is just a magnet for assassins. You see the thanks I get for saving her scrawny neck My again? My neck is not scrawny! Sheridan, listen. There's a hitman out there who's trying to kill you. That's a fact. Now, you keeping me from doing my job to catch this perp is increasing the chances that you're going to end up dead. I got you. I got you. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. I'm fine. I'm fine. Where's Charity? Wayne Hotchkiss saw her on the wharf. What? Charity left the boat? Yeah, and Miguel took a rowboat to go after her. Wait, that's not any good. I mean, the way this boat's rocking, I can't imagine what would happen to a rowboat. Mom, don't say that. Nothing bad can happen to Miguel. <laughs> or Charity. Dr. Russell. Dr. Russell. Winnie took a pretty bad fall. Can you just check her out? Make sure she's okay? Of course. Thank you for helping me, Charity. Seems like every time I need your help, you're always there for me. Uh, Teresa, you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Hey, we gotta get to the cabin and find out what's going on, because the boat can't take much more of this. Right. I, Gwen! What on 
earth are you doing here? I was concerned about Ethan. Concern? How? Chief Bennett, look what's going on. Why hasn't your department sent out the police rescue boat? You know, what kind of slipshot operation are you running? There's nothing wrong with the Harmony PD. There is where I stand. Look, no one on shore even realized that we were in trouble. What, in this kind of storm? How could they not? I just spoke to the captain. He radioed for help when the storm first hit. But my department in the Coast Guard didn't even know what he was talking about. The weather in Harmony is fine. And this storm isn't showing up on radar. In fact, no one can even locate this boat on radar either. But how's that possible? This is disturbingly similar to the phenomena associated with... Forget that now, Reese. What we need to do is stay calm and keep everyone from panicking, all right? Good luck with that. Attention, everyone! Listen up! The captain's turning the boat around and we're headed back to shore. We should be docked and safe before you know it. Sam, Sam, we got a problem. The captain can't turn the ship around. The storm is pushing us further out of the sea. Oh my god. That glass keeps rolling away. So? Boat's starting to sink. We're not going to be able to stay afloat very much longer. Luis, I listened to you once tonight, and you made me paranoid for nothing. Well, I'm not convinced that it was nothing. I think someone took a shot at you tonight at Lover's Point. You want to know what I think? I think we should change the subject because you two aren't getting anywhere going at each other like this. You're right, Hank. Why should I waste my time arguing with Luis when you were sweet enough to come and visit me? Brain residents? Yeah. What? All right. Now just keep me posted, right? What was that all about? Headquarters got several calls from the prom boat saying they were caught in a terrible storm. What? Clear as a bell outside. Yeah. Even so, Teresa and Miguel were on that boat. Ethan. So are Sam, Grace, and the girls. Um, I think we should get down to the wharf and see what the harbor master does. Come on, Hank, you're in no condition to go anywhere. You're just barely getting over getting beaten. I can't go because I gotta guard Sheridan. Luis, you have to go. It's too important not to. I promise to stay here. Hank, you'll stay with me, won't you? Yeah, sure. Look, we'll lock all the doors and the windows and we'll turn the alarm on. And I won't let her out of my sight. If it wasn't for my family, I... I know, but I'll be fine. All right. I'll get back as soon as I can, all right? Oh, oh we finally, finally made it, Timmy. We're back on dry land. None the worse for wear, really. Well, except for your hair. Oh. Scared the color right out of it. <laughs> Sharp, skinless, nothing out to me. It was worse than the bear and fluffy combined. Yes, for a moment there, I thought it was snack time at Sea World. <laughs> Good thing I remembered those herbs in my pocket. Just a sprinkle reduced that man-eating menace to a minnow. <laughs> some herbs for Jimmy there. Oh. oh, don't worry about that. We'll dye it back to its normal colour when we get home. I have a big glass of more Jimmy's. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Look, Timmy, look. Look over there on the dock. It's charity. And the pendant's working perfectly. Empowering charity with evil. What about Miguel? Is he dead, Tabitha? One can only hope. Then, it won't be long before Charity comes over to the dark side and, uh, and her powers will belong to us. Oh, finally we will have succeeded in bringing her over to the dark side. 
glorious infamy. I'll get my powers back, and evil will reign in harmony once more. <sighs> Ooh. The boat's sinking. Oh my god, we're all gonna die! Listen now, everybody just calm down. Now even if the captain can't steer us back to the harbor, if we begin to sink, this boat is equipped with lifeboats. Look, we're all gonna be okay. We just need to stay calm in the unlikely event that we have to abandon this ship. You two will count the lifeboats on deck. And be careful, it's dangerous out there, okay? If Charity's on the wharf, what happened to Tabitha? I mean, she was watching Charity. I'll tell you what happened. A giant wave took care of that old woman and that doll. Watched them both overboard. Oh, Tabitha. I can still hear the doll's screams mingled with hers as they're washed into the abyss. Julia is obviously drunk. Didn't you get my message, Crane? Stay away from my wife. If I catch you near Eve again, I'll do more than throw a couple of punches. I'll throw your butt overboard. But I'm sure whatever concerns you have about Ethan, they, they can all be worked out before the wedding. I think I'm not sure there is even going to be a wedding. What? No wedding? What are you talking about? <sighs> she better. More bad news. Most of the lifeboats have been washed overboard. There aren't very many left. There's nowhere near enough to save everybody here. God help us. We gotta get off this boat, or we're all gonna die. I'm gonna go change clothes. What's the gun for? Hold on to it. You're gonna need it. Unless you wise up and do as you're told. Your next stop is the morgue. Aren't you gonna answer that? It could be Luis or Sam. Hello? You have your gun with you? Yeah. Why? You're at Sheridan Crane's cottage. Uh, no I'm not, I... Don't lie to me, Hank. I know you're there. And you know what to do. Kill Sheridan now. Hey. Hey. What's going on with the prom boat? Oh, we got an SOS claiming they got caught in a terrible storm, but radar indicates there's no storm anywhere near here. As far as the boat, it's not showing up on radar either. Well, how's that possible? Well, easy. They're already outside of the local radar range, and the SOS is probably nothing more than a high school prank. So you don't think anyone's in danger? No. understand how your mother might think that Teresa has designs on Ethan. She doesn't know her as well as you and I do. I can assure you, I have seen them almost every day that you've been gone. And there is no way that there is anything going on between my son and the housekeeper's daughter. Look, Ivy, no offense, okay? But this is between Ethan, Teresa, and me, and I am not leaving this boat until I know the truth once and for all. Excuse me. Talk to you. Look, Teresa, this isn't a good time. The boat's in serious trouble. I know. That's why if something happens, if we don't get through this, I need you to know that I meant what I said earlier. I love you, Ethan. I love you with all of my heart and soul. Teresa. Kiss me again. Let my last memory be of you, holding me in your arms. Kiss me. 
kiss from the man I love still fresh in my life. She's gonna live to love Miguel another day. Damn her, she's so unbelievable! Kill them! Kill them all! Kill them! Kill them all! Kill them! Kill them all! Drat! I can't tell if Miguel is dead or just unconscious. And Romeo has to be worm food before charity and our father's powers are fully ours. Miguel move! Can you feel Miguel move? He's alive! Oh, I knew it was too good to be true. Charity must finish him off. I'll send her a subliminal message to get us started. Kill Miguel. Charity, you must kill Miguel. Jimmy heard this before. Don't be afraid. I, I don't know what just happened, but I'm all right. Now that we're together again, everything's gonna be okay. Kill Miguel! Charity, you must kill Miguel! Charity! Charity! Stop! Help! Help! Help me! Charity! 